okay so I want to inspire and this is going to be how arc affected my MS or it could be any illness here's the deal I walked around for 25 years afraid of my illness I mean literally because you see I knew what it was or is going to lead to so in the end I know how disabled I might slash will become and that's because I looked on the internet and it showed me um, horrible things that might come to me so I was sprayed so for 25 years I walked around afraid but then on one faithful day I broke my hip probably because of my illness you know I'm shuffling around not walking well I have on slippery socks because it's Christmas and I have a hardwood floor because that's the kind I wanted so I slip in these socks socks and a shatter my hip and it's to the point where they have to cut off the head of my femur you know the part that's a ball and replace that with a prosthetic and it was actually great so they did that surgery and the next day I was offered physical therapy did I want to go to this physical therapy or that physical therapy and of course I chose the one that was more intensive I chose ARC because they told me if you work harder and I always want to work harder you'll get out faster so it was a no-brainer so I went to ARC now how my MS plays into this when I was at ARC after shattering my hip I was unable to do anything for myself um, much like I thought MS would be much like all those things I saw on the internet that frightened me and Breaking my hip basically threw me under the MS bus. So I'm in the rehabilitation center and I'm trying to work myself back. You know, I'm working really hard. But I also see the disability that I have been afraid of for 25 years. And these nurses are taking care of me and it's incredible and I watch them and I wonder how they do it so much so that I ask one of them her name was Sarah I said Sarah and I'm sure she saw my depression how do you do this I don't understand why no I asked her why do you do this because honestly in my mind I'm thinking I wouldn't do it I couldn't do it but worse than couldn't do it I wouldn't do it I would be out somewhere having a party if I were her age I wouldn't be doing this and then Sarah told me that when she was about 21 which was yesterday because she's really young when she was about 21 she had no direction she was near Philadelphia or maybe in Philadelphia and she had a terrible car accident where she broke her back in several places and she went into the hospital and because she was in Philadelphia that was far away from her home which meant she had no family around her and I'm thinking gee that's a baby 
and she said she had to go into the hospital there and the quality of care that they gave her the way that they took care of her when she could not take care of herself and no one was near her no family that gave her the direction that she needed so when she got out of the hospital all better she decided to go into this career and that struck that that changed it for me that made me view my caregivers as people you know not this these unbelievable i can't how do you do that but that meant that my caregivers were people and people could do this for me in my state of total disability so i was no longer afraid I wasn't. I wasn't afraid anymore. Now, that does not mean that I want it, but that means that I'm not afraid of it if it happens. And the fact that I am up now says that if it happens, I will be able to work my way back. It might not be perfect. It might not be close to what I think it should be or close to what it was. But it means that I can do it. I've done it this time. And if it comes up again, I will have this and use it as a frame of reference. So I want you to know that the caregivers are there for a reason and you can oh my god you can you can come back and once you do it it's left up to you to let others know it can be done <laughs>